All right. Now we're doing Freak Code Camp, Responsive Web Design, Learn HTML by Building a Cat Photo App, Step 65. All right. So notice that everything we've added to the page so far is inside the body element. Yes, everything's inside of that body tag and then this one right here, right? So this one and the one down there, right? Uh, all page content elements that should be rendered to the page go inside the body element. However, other important information goes inside the head element. So we're going to add a head element above the body element, right? So let's uh, check out head while we're at it. Head element HTML bone. Let's see what it talks about. So that you can see it's pretty long. There's actually a lot of stuff to go with the head. But So let's check it out. Uh, so the HTML head element is a container for the following elements. Title, style, meta, link, script, and base. All right. So the HTML head element is a container for metadata, right? Data about data. So like this thing right here, this is the title right here, and that would be in the head. Uh, and is placed between the HTML tag and the body tag, like we just saw in the uh, main thing. So HTML metadata, metadata is data about the HTML document. Metadata is not displayed. Metadata typically define the document title, character sets, styles, scripts, and other meta information, all right? And then here's all the uh, other things right down here. We'll, we'll check those out while we go. All right, so let's uh, put the head right here. We'll start off with the head like this, and then we'll close the head like that. And that should take care of it. Nothing happened because like it said on here, it's all uh, pretty much invisible, just stuff in the background, except for this is the title right here. That's part of the metadata. So let's check the code, looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 66 and we'll see you next time.